so easy being me. I'm hard Good morning, Henry. <gasps> more milk. We need more milk, please. That's what I said. Oh. Try the doorstep. Hello. hello. Did you just say hello? Please look after this kitten. His name is... Oh, I can't read the writing. Well, you better come inside then. Please, can we keep it, Dad? Please, if you please. Well, I don't think we have much choice. Yes! Come on, Buster. I'll show you my fault. But I wanted to show Tiddles my bedroom. His name is Buster. No, it's not. His name is Tiddles. Buster! Tiddles. Buster! Tiddles! Come on, boys. It's just a name. Well, OK then. How about we put it to a vote? A, a vote? vote? Yes, a vote. And the name with the most votes wins. Right, let's see how you got on. Peter, you got, let's see, six, seven, eight signatures. Well done, Peter. Who's a good boy then? Tiddles? Henry, you got 35, 36, 37 signatures. Way to go, Buster! Uh, Henry? Yes, Dad? What does this signature say? Uh, the Queen. And this one? Mutant Max. Ah. Henry? Yes, Dad? Are you telling me that Her Majesty the Queen walked down our road this Saturday morning? Henry, you cheated! No, I didn't! I used my imagination! Henry, it just doesn't work like that. Every vote has to count, and that means every vote has to be real. Oh! <sighs> Come on, Tiddles! Nice try, Henry. Why don't you go and get your homework done now, eh? I'm not beaten yet! Finding it hard to make a decision? Then why not ask Auntie Annie? She'll answer your questions in a nanosecond. Just give her a call on her free phone number 672. You! That's it! Ask Auntie Annie! Well, 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 have we got a show for you this week. Henry, is this going to take long? Shh! Just listen! Now let's hear from our first caller of the day. Um, I just gotta go to the toilet. And our first caller is Confused from Castleton. Hello, Confused from Castleton. Uh, hello. Uh, hello. Now what is your question, Confused from Castleton? Well, it's about my kitten. Uh, I mean my cat. My, my big, big cat. Not like a kitten at all, really. Yes. Well, I can't decide what to call it. And, uh... Can I just interrupt you there? Is your cat a girl or a boy? It's a boy. Should I call him Buster or Tiddles? He should be called Buster. Yeah! Go, on, Buster! Come on, Buster. Let's rock and roll! <laughs> Hold on a minute. Where's the phone? Here it is. Thank you, Henry. Hello and welcome to Ask Auntie Annie's free phone hotline. What would you like to ask Auntie Annie? Oops. Henry! Come on, Buster Boy! Time to rise and shine! We're going to do this properly, once and for all. What's this? It's a ballot box for you to put your votes in, if you get any. 
face it, Henry, Peter's just better at this than you are. No, he's not. He's just... So easy being me, I'm Henry. Looking forward to the final, Henry. What? Oh, uh, yeah. My mum and dad have bought me a new widescreen TV, so we're going to see it all in high definition. Yeah, high definition. You, um, watching it on your old telly, Henry. Yeah, suppose so. Oh, and we're having a special cake in the shape of a giant football. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Don't worry, Henry. I'm sure there will be cakes at Aunt Ruby's too. Miss the goal? Oh, I wish I could miss the party. If only it wasn't happening at the same time as the final. <gasps> Eureka! That's it! Time for tea! Hello? This is Ruby speaking. Uh, 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 hello. Uh, this is the, uh, the Prime Minister. I'm phoning to tell you that the clocks are changing on Saturday, so tea time will be three hours later than usual. I beg your pardon. Uh, who is this calling? There's someone on the phone saying that tea on Saturday will be three hours later than usual. <laughs> nice try, Henry. But you're still coming. wrong with you is football fever. You've got ten minutes to get ready or you're going in your pyjamas. But... No buts, Henry. Uh, what's that you said, Aunt Ruby? Oh, dear. The party's cancelled. OK, don't worry. I'll tell Mum and Dad. You've got 20 seconds to finish your cereal, Henry. Henry! Where are you? Here he is! if it'll make you feel better, Henry. Be quiet, worm! I don't want to give Steve any presents! Don't be horrid, Henry. Stop! What is it, Henry? Come on, Henry. <laughs> Wait, Henry. But I need to go right now! Henry, where are you? Oh, I'm locked in, Dad! Really? Let me give it a try. Uh, it's no use. It won't open. Why don't you go 
go on without me. You can pick me up on the way back. Don't be so stupid, Henry. Come out of there. No! Henry, you come out of that toilet now or I'll give all your toys away and you won't have any pocket money until you're 94 and a half. It's so easy being me. I'm Henry. So, you like people sitting on you, do you? Yes, I mean, no. It's embarrassing. But he just wants to be my friend. Bah. All I'm saying is, the next time Bossy Bill asks you to do something you don't want to do... When I want your advice, I'll ask for it. Oh, don't be so wet. Tell him to back off and crawl back under his rock. Give me up, Bossy! <laughs> Bill. Hello, Peter. Um, can I help you? Yes. Will you be my goalpost today? Uh, I'd love to, but I'm playing giddy up with my friends. I'm not asking you. I'm telling you. Will you be my goalpost today? Um. So, what do you say, Petey? Back off! Under your rock and crawl, please. This is a first. Did you lose something? I... I must have slipped. It was Buffy Bill. I told you to stand up to him. I did, and this is where it got me. Hmm. Well, we're going to have to do something. Because you're going to ruin my reputation.
just can't do it. It's so easy being me. I'm hard and uh, just what do you think you're doing? <laughs> Talk to me, droopy pants. And what's that? It's my new plant. Woohoo! Miss Lovely gave it to me. Why? We're making our plants grow up to be happy plants by playing music and singing to them. <laughs> what's that for? Feeding time. Growing plants need to be fed regularly. So what are you feeding it? I have some very nutritious plant food. But what if it wants a sandwich? I'm not reading you poetry. Hey, would you like to see the latest issue of Kung Fu Cockroach? Want oh, one? Ah, we need music. Time. <gasps> what are you doing? I think your plant likes me. Of course it does. You've got the same IQ. Get lost, party features. Oh, look. Henry's finally got a friend. Just a pity it's a vegetable. <laughs> Actually, it's not a vegetable. Its Latin name is... Oh, up early, boys. Henry, housework today, remember? The hoover won't run itself. <gasps> he doesn't write poetry. He? <sighs> if I had a plant, I'd teach it to eat rubbish so I'd never have to clean up ever again. Did you ring the bell? Brilliant! Wait here a minute. Wow, that plant can move by itself. Henry, you can't have finished already. All right, all right. Oh, this is exhausting. Stupid Peter and his stupid plant waking me up so early. It's for me! We've come to see your plant. How's it doing? Ta da! Ooh, it's lovely! How do you get it to grow so big? Regular nutritious food. And I've been reading it poetry. Ooh, yes! yes. It especially likes sardines. Are you going to play a game, boys? Oh, yes! What a super idea! What shall we play? Sardines, of course! <laughs> How lovely! Shall I take your plant up to your room, Peter? Yes, please, Mum. Sam and I will count. Gordon, you hide. Oh, goody! One... I wonder if they're in here. Hey! Some of us are napping! Have you seen Gordon or Sam anywhere? No, I was asleep, Fungus Head. All I've seen was the inside of my eyelids. I was asleep! But... Out! Aha! I bet they're in here. Not in here. And don't worry, I haven't forgotten about you, my little friend. It must be nearly feeding time. 